Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you for joining on this another live stream today. So this is the 24th of April and this is on Wednesday. So good to see everyone. Thank you for joining. Today it's a sunny day in Tokyo. Recently I've been uh, within the house pretty much because uh, Japan has been, uh, well Tokyo is under the state of emergency now and uh, we're not really recommended to go out. The shops are closed after 8 uh, p.m. and there's no like uh, alcohol served and uh, the street lights are off right now. The, the lights are off on the parks. So uh, yeah, pretty much I'm in house right now almost all day. I just stepped out uh, for uh, grocery shopping, but uh, that's about it. I think it will be the same for you too. So hopefully we get through this uh, tough situation under the COVID outbreak. Still, the cases are uh, increasing in some parts of the world. I read the news that the India, uh, the cases are still increasing. So if you are joining from India, I hope uh, your family is safe and healthy. Um, and some other countries too. I, I've read the news about Canada. It's also on the second wave. So uh, looks like it's not really settling down yet. And I'm not sure uh, what's gonna happen about the Olympic in Tokyo this uh, this year. Well, most of the people in Japan are, uh, you know, are agreed to cancel the Olympic, but. You know, there we're not sure yet if it's gonna be taking place or not. So we'll see, we'll see. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, you have a great day today, anyways, and I hope you're having a um, great trading day today also. So not to lose is a key for my for my uh, mindset. I'm here to help you become a non-losing trader and that's my top and that's why I use Ichimoku in multiple time frames and that's why risk management and so psychological management is also important so uh, yeah let's get started now before starting here just a quick disclaimer this information today is basically uh, based on my own understanding and experience knowledge so when you take trades please do um, at your own risk Okay, so let's see. Um, Esa, thank you for joining. Sarosh, good to see you. Asif, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you again. And James, thank you for joining too. Good to see you. Sarosh says, um, NZJPY. Okay, thoughts on the NZJPY. Let me check that one later on. Let me talk about the uh, Euro JPY exit timing first, and then I will talk about some other pairs. Arkady, thank you for joining. And Jorg, good to see you here. And Ruslan, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Yep, stay healthy. Stay healthy, everyone. And stay safe and healthy. Hopefully. We're gonna get through this one. Yep. Um, let's see. Fize, thank you for joining. Robert, good to see you here. First live, Robert. Thank you for joining here the first time. So Rush says, um, okay, can, when we confirm in 4 hour chart trend and in 1 hour chart and enter in 5 minute chart, what should we do if 1 hour chart Kijun Sen becomes flat? Then no trace. If you see 1 hour chart become flat, then you either don't take any trades or you look at the 30 minute chart and see if 30 minute chart is also trending or not. Is what what I usually do. Hello, Mohammad. Thank you for joining. And Monorom, good to see you. Christopher, thank you for joining as well. Romeo, good to see you. And Kim, thank you for joining. Saber Wolf, good to see you here. Thank you for joining as well. Do you have any open trades? Uh, not that not at the moment. I don't have any open positions right now. Viewer, thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Ramin, Odo, Renilo, and Jan, Dylan, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. 
Thunderpole, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Just starting slowly on this live stream because um, I see lots and lots of more people are coming in right now. So before jumping into the topic, let me uh, start slowly today. And today, the live stream, um, I don't think it's going to last for next one hour. I think it's going to last maybe 30 minutes or so because I've had a long day today. I had I was recording uh, videos uh, for the GTS members and uh, yeah I've had a long day so I guess I will be doing the live stream maybe 30 minutes or so and we'll see you tomorrow all right Serene and Christopher again thank you for joining Tiffany good to see you too Steven good to see you too thank you for joining good to see you again all right and James thank you for the reminder so if you liked today's live stream please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day so today's live stream it's not a video so I can see the chat and this is live so let me switch it to the pair and this is the euro jpy daily chart looks like the daily chart is still going up because um we have the kumo up senko span b's up a's up um if you're new to ichimoku um ichimoku composed of uh, five lines and this uh band looking like shape is called kumo i know there are lots of new traders here in my channel so let me uh talk step by step so the kumo is composed of five lines and one of the lines is called the senko span b you can just call it b or senko span b is the lower part when it's up kumo and upper part is called the senko span a so this is senko span a this senko span b and the angle of very important if you see senko span b is pointing up and a is pointing up also this is a nice and stable uptrend in the long term so this uh especially senko span b shows the long term market direction and momentum and also uh on this green one is called kijun sen this is called kijun sen so i just put k just like my name um, in the back over here I just put, put the uh, my letter K so um, this is Kijun Sen the green one and Kijun Sen shows the midterm market direction and momentum and also uh, the blue one over here is called the Tenkan Sen the blue one is Tenkan Sen Tenkan Sen shows the short-term market direction and momentum and Chikou span is the yellow one. This is called the Chikou span. And this is lagged uh, 26 candles in the backwards. So if you simply measure the number of candles, um, this is 26 candles backwards. In between the Chikou span to the current candlestick, this is 26 bars. And this is, and also Kumo, uh, this uh, Senko Span BA together is called Kumo. This area is called Kumo. And uh, Kumo is shifted at uh, 26 candles forward from the current forming candlestick. So if you simply count the number of candles, this is 26 candles to the future. And if we're using trading view, uh, here's a little trick about counting the candles but uh, every time you see me counting the candles with this uh, measuring tool um, you want to take the you want to start from one candlestick before and after to count the number of candles correctly because um, if you start if you just press the button here and it becomes zero you can see that this it says zero bar so this measurement tool doesn't take the current forming candlestick as one it, it counts as zero so the trick here is that if you drag it to the chikou span exactly from this forming candlestick as zero to onwards 
then it becomes 25. It becomes 25. But because this current from a candlestick should be 1, you have to start from one candlestick afterwards, one candlestick to the future, and make sure that this current from a candlestick counts 1, and then go backwards 26 should be the Chikou span location. So this is a bit trick about the Ichimoku displacement and the displacement on MT45 is basically wrong uh, because it counts the current forming candlestick as zero but uh, trading view is correct. The trading view displacement is correct but uh, MT45 is wrong and that's why I provide the correct displacement of uh, Ichimoku indicator within my Ichimoku community. But um, so when you count forward two or when you count time cycles, uh, you have to count the current candlestick as one, not zero. So you have to count, let's say you want to count from, uh, hold on, let's say you want to count exactly from this candlestick to the next low, next swing low, if you want to count these two candles, then um, you will see me counting, um, hold on, let me just delete these. This is the basic of Ichimoku and how to count and this is very important. Um, so if you want to count from this candlestick to the next low, then uh, oftentimes I see people start to draw from this one and to the future but this is technically wrong. You have to count this one as one. So uh, technically you have to start counting from one previous and this current, this uh, previous low can be counted as one and then move forward like this. So this is actually 23 bars. If you count this as one, number one, two, three, four, then to the next low, this is 23 bars. I hope that makes sense. And this is very important um, to count the number of candles. Make sure you include the current from forming candlestick as one, not zero. It's a bit trick. So every time you see me drawing, uh, you, you see me uh, counting the numbers, I start one candle backwards and forward so that this low, the first one, uh, is counted as one, but not zero. So anyways, uh, so including, I mean, uh, including this current forming candlestick that Chikou span is shifted 26 candles backwards and Kumo is 26 forward candles. So, uh, and this is uh, in trading view and this is Ichimoku, sorry, let me shift the chart like this. So um, yeah, and this is the default Ichimoku that I'm using on trading view and this is correct. The displacement is correct. And the, the calculation is also correct on these lines. So that's a little uh, tip about the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo here. So anyways, um, let me talk about the Euro JPY trade. I took a trade Hold on, uh, let me go down to one hour chart. And um, yeah, so this was my trade. Um, this was my buy position, buy position, and this is my exit timing. It was over here, was exit. It was exited automatically, but um, so I've seen exactly on this day, in one hour chart, it was uptrending. Let me go back the candles like this. So this was exactly the market that I was watching. So based on based on one hour chart, the Kumo was trending up. You see the Senko Span B's up and A's up. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both upwards and Chikou Span was above the candles. So I was expecting the break of the resistance zone between 131, sorry, between uh, 130.98 and 
somewhere in this area there was a resistance zone if you can uh, view my analysis uh, from yesterday on Euro JPY this is one hour chart but um, in the daily basis I was expecting the market breaks upwards this way because um, in the daily chart it was on the ascending P wave which is my favorite uh, structure it was ascending P wave and I expected the market breaks upwards this way was my analysis and I posted the analysis uh, on uh, TradingView and also Twitter also but um, I was also expecting the market might retest the trend line and goes up this way but anyhow I was expecting a breakout uh, this week or next week and yesterday it happened it just broke upwards this way now so um, so in one hour chart I was seeing the P wave and expect the breakout so that was the overall market situation by Ichimoku lines and the price action and by going down to 5 minute chart um, this, since this is a JPY cross pair JPY pair I was looking at the Tokyo box I saw that the Tokyo box has been broken upwards this way so this is the Tokyo box of yesterday on uh, Tuesday it was Tokyo box and um, I expected the Tokyo box breakout happens upwards and I took it as um, one of the confirmations and also um, I was seeing the uh, Bollinger Band in Stochastics and I got the cross I got the gold cross of um, hold on, let me just delete this one I got the gold cross of uh, Stochastics and also Bollinger Band has been band walking in 5 minute chart so that's how I got the buy so um, and also price action wise this is also this was also uptrending on the bullish new wave meaning that the um, the lows has been uh, going higher and the highs are higher too so this is a stable bullish confirmation in 5 minute chart too so together with the Tokyo box breakout I got this N wave, continuous N waves and also scarcity gold cross and the price has been going up in between a division 1, 2 and that's how I concluded to buy on this pair with the risk 2% I took the buy and since the market went upwards all the way uh, before I go to bed last night um, I set the break even line and that was my trade yesterday so uh, yeah so this is an entry timing of mine on this euro JPY and basically I kept the stop loss I kept the stop loss to break even and I just uh, came backwards afterwards uh, somewhere here this morning and uh, in Japan time um, I saw the market um, you know there was a there was a slope of the reverse in wave there was a reverse in wave in 5 minute chart and also a Bollinger Band was squeezing here let me enlarge the chart the Bollinger Band was squeezing here and along with the reverse in wave there was a um, double top in 5 a double top in 5, reverse in wave and Bollinger Band squeeze and also the price has been sloping down on these Bollinger Bands, lower bands and also uh, Stochastics after ever since the Stochastic dead cross happens at the time of the double top in 5 a never gold cross a never gold cross and that's why I concluded to exit here when I wake up in the morning and simply that was my trade that was my exit timing here 
So um, my exit timing is when I see the market retracement in lower time frames. So I don't expect the market to continue to go up or down. It's impossible. The market sometimes retraces backwards this way. And so initially, uh, this is my mindset and strategy. But um, until I set the break even line is the game I play. And once I set the break even line, then I just let the time go. Sometimes I don't, I don't come back to the chart uh, next day. Sometimes uh, you know I just come back to chart two, uh, two days later and see how it plays out. In this example, um, I checked the chart this morning, and uh, the market just retraced backwards, and uh, I decided to exit here. But um, because in my mindset, once I set the break-even line, even the market retraced backwards from here when I was sleeping, then I don't lose. I don't lose anything. So this is already my win, and I just look. I just look for another trading opportunities. But um, if the market just keep going up or just uh, you know follow the major direction still, then I just look for where I can trial the profits, and I just trail uh, the profit that way. So. Uh, the market reversal confirmation is also very important. Um, and also, at this timing, exactly here, um, let me keep this uh, vertical line and let me switch it to one hour chart. The other confirmation of why I decided to exit here is that the, uh, the Kijun Sen became flat. Exactly on this candlestick, on this uh, red vertical line. If I can just shift the candles a bit like this, then um, you see that the Kumo was flat. Kumo was flat, I mean uh, Kumo meaning the Senko Span B angle is flat, Senko Span A angle was flat also, and Kijun Sen was flat also. Excuse me. And also the market broke the Tenkan Sen downwards here. And if I look at if I was looking at the 5 minute chart, there was a double top. There was a double top in 5, and the market went down on the reversing wave. And stochastics has been dead crossing, and that's why I decided to exit simply here. Um, the market might could have gone up still, but it might go down. And if I can read which way it's going, then simply I exit. So um, it happens that the breakout of the Tenkan Sen or breakout of the Kijun Sen, but whenever I see the potential reversal confirmations like this, then I simply exit. So you can also look at the higher time frame confirmations too in this way. But in the daily chart, this is still moving up. In the daily chart, this is still trending up. So. I'm still keep looking for the buy chance, but at the moment right now, um, in one hour chart, it's gradually moving up, but it's ranging basically, it's just going up and down ranging, and also in 30 minute chart, this is also ranging too. So I simply wait for the next Tokyo Box breakout in this particular case. So let me show you the Tokyo Box, so, so Tokyo Box is here. There was a uh, breakout initially, but now it went backwards, and now the market is in the range. So in this condition, we better wait for the break of the previous high. At this uh, 131.67, once it breaks, then um, you will look for the buy chance. And simply that's what I'm waiting for uh, today. But most likely, it won't happen until I go to bed. So most likely, I will just come back to chart tomorrow and look for another buying opportunity on the Euro JPY. And especially today, this is in 30 minute chart. But if you see the candles, there are so many wicks up and downwards. And this is the fishbone. And this is very difficult to uh, 
read the direction. Uh, and even if you place a buy or sell in this condition, uh, you might retrace backwards soon and you get stop losses many times. So if you see this market where the market has been going up and down, very spiky market, you better avoid taking trades. It's my recommendation. So, uh, yeah, so let me come back to some comments here. Dariel, thank you for joining. To see you. Tiffany says, uh, based on your strategy, there are not many good trades to place in one year. Is it correct? Um, there are good trades within a year, within a month. So, simply I wait for the trend to come. And once I confirm the trend, then I write on it. If there is no trend, like in this case, then I simply stay away and look for another market that are trending. Cloudy, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. All right, Hiel, thank you for joining. Glad to hear that. And Ali, good to see you too. Waiting for UST JPY one or chart to buy. Yeah, dollar JPY looks to be trending also. So, but watch out for the FOMC. Hello, Roy and Tommy. Good to see you here. Good to see you. All right. Um, Paprika says, um, "Hi, K. Do you have more success with long trades or short trades overall?" Um, it's almost the same, same numbers. Because I only take trades in forex market, I, I both buy and sell. Whenever there, a tr there is a trend, I just simply follow, whether it's a bullish or bearish, on this forex market. Romeo says, "Do you ever take entries on the one-minute chart if you are following?" Um, no, I never take trades based on the one minute because one minute is too low, too spiky. And the spread, uh, considering spread, one minute is too low for me. So I take trades based on 5 or 15, but not one hour chart. Sorry, one minute chart. I used to take trades based on the one minute uh, when I was a scalper, but um, because of the spread, I decided not to. Especially on these, uh, you know, exotics or minor pairs, Swiss franc, New Zealand, and all these exotic pairs, the spreads are relatively higher, and you cannot really take the, uh, you know, the exact buying or selling edges. So it was difficult for me. Yeah, and also I'm a swing, I'm a day to swing trader. So basically, I look at and take trades based on the five and fifteen. Yude says, uh, how to trade gap up and gap down? Uh, basically, after you see gap up, and if the market doesn't fill the gap, then the market tends to go, go towards that direction. So um, simply, that's the case in the, uh, the forex and also indexes and stock markets. Yeah, whether you have the gap fill or not is the key. Mashiach and JFAR, good to see you here. Thank you for joining. Tommy Lee says, um, I took the same trade yesterday, but today it didn't move, hence it closed it. I think that's a good decision. Yeah, when the market is set to range, then simply close it. Or you can uh, put the break even and keep holding it, or you can uh, put the stop below the previous support. And in this case, the previous support is at this level. So you can keep the stop up over here and keep holding it and expect the market breaks this way. For me, I prefer to exit once once I see the reversal confirmations, then I prefer to exit once and if the market persists uptrend, then I like to re-enter the market. And I feel safer that way and that's why I do this, but um, if you are, if you think it's not uncomfortable, if you feel that it's uncomfortable, then um, you can just keep the stop here and 
just expect the market moves up. I think either it's okay. Hello Blackwater, thank you for joining. Good to see you and Onkar, good to see you too. As the trend was up in this situation, why didn't you do prayer meeting? Uh, simply I was sleeping, so I didn't put any other positions. I set the break even line and went to bed. Hello Nova, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Tyler, you're welcome. He says, uh, Kay, thanks for uh, the great teachings. I am wondering what is the name for that sessions indicator on TradingView. Oh, this is the sessions indicator. If you can just search on this uh, indicator and strategies, simply um, search sessions and you find the indicator over here, sessions on chart. This is the indicator that I use. And I only pick the Tokyo session uh, between the 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and I get the box like this. It's pretty useful and if you want to look for the sessions indicator on MT45, uh, they are also available. And also Forex Tester it's available too. So Rush says, uh, in this JPY, I take Tokyo Box and Ichimoku Trend. Could you say your thoughts? Yep. Let's check the NZDJPY. So that was my entry and exit explanation on this Euro JPY. So let me check a couple of pairs and end the live stream. So let's see. First of all, I look at the daily chart as usual to get the overall situation. So in the daily chart, the Kumo is twisted bullish, but this is very young, very short, and the Kijun Sen in the Kumo. But um, I do see that this is in the on the bullish wave, so this is uptrend. So that's my first condition. So um, the market might be resisted at this uh, 79.17, and it can go up. To that level is my first impression. And with that in mind, I look at the lower time frames. Let's see. I look at the one and let's see. I will I see that Kumo is up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou span above the candles. So this is a stable uptrend in one hour chart as well. And with that in mind, I look at the Tokyo box. So Tokyo Box breakout happened today, exactly at this level of 78.54 was the Tokyo Box range and it broke upwards uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours ago. And it's been bullish trend right now. So yeah, if you were looking at the market at this exact breakout timing, then that was a good confirmation to buy because today's bullish and if the Tokyo box breakout happens bullish, then that becomes uh, more reliable. So this is a good example for Tokyo box breakout. And make sure you use the Tokyo box breakout only with the JPY cross pairs. And on the YouTube comment, I've seen the comment about the box if it works uh, with the New York box or London box. And in my opinion, um, only JPY, uh, Asian session or Tokyo session uh, box breakout works uh, on the JPY pairs, but um, I've seen lots of fake outs on London session and New York session. So I think uh, after Asian session will be uh, the most reliable uh, breakout strategy on these JPY pairs. I have actually studied about the uh, the London range and New York range. Of course, the volume of the market is much, much more than Asian sessions. So um, 
In that sense, market has more volatility on London and especially New York sessions. But um, after London, New York, sometimes it goes backwards very sharply and it goes range towards the end of the New York session. So uh, in that sense, I don't really recommend to use the Tokyo box, I mean the box breakout on these London and New York sessions. Yeah, based on my experience, uh, the Tokyo session breakout works on the JPY pairs. Okay, so it says um, NDJPY, I'm still holding it and enter because of forward chart trend. I still see the trend. Yes, there is no reason to exit yet. At this moment, um, in the one or charge is up and four is up, so there is no reason to exit. The price can go up to the previous resistance at around a 79.17 level, and we have uh, in pips wise, we have about like a 42 pips of room to follow. All right, uh, Romeo, thank you for the reminder too, for the like button, please. Thank you for that. Number nine, good to see you. And Deon, good to see you too. Hello, Marosan, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. All right. Oh, um, more seven uh, comment was uh, how to determine a good entry point. My analysis is correct mostly by the price returns to my stop losses, then moves in direction I predicted. Um, so that's one of the, the dilemmas. Yeah, that's one of the dilemmas. Um, um, so if the market takes the stop loss and goes towards that direction, most likely, um, the stop loss is too tight. You want to have wider stop loss and take trades. It's my um, initial advice to avoid that. So if you take like a 20 pips of stop loss in average, then you might want to start to take like 30 pips or 40 pips on stop loss and see if the market goes towards that direction. That's one. And also, um, it's all, all about psychology. Um, I used to think like, oh, the market, every time I take trades, the market goes backwards against me and goes towards the direction afterwards. It was my psychology too, when I was still newbie. And um, so if you, and this happens, this mindset happens if you only focus on these losing trades. But if you start to focus on the winning trades and also uh, break even strategies, then uh, your mindset will change. So um, better to study about your losing trades and better to look into why the market went backwards when you take trades and why the market hit a stop loss. Was the stop loss at the right place or uh, was the entry, entry timing was right? Or um, you, know, we ha we, you can think about these questions by looking back on losing trades and try to improve your strategy. Yeah, because I used to think like that too. Um, especially in lower time frames, it goes very fast. Sometimes it goes against me, and I cut the loss. I see trends, still take it, but the market goes backwards again, and I exit and take trades, and I it just goes backwards again. So I felt like the market's watching me. The market was very mean, and uh, he is watching me. So I was feeling like that too but as soon as i accept the fact that nobody's moving the market intentionally the market just goes whenever it wants to go so uh in that sense um you know if if i start to admit the fact that uh, nobody's uh can uh make the market move up or down then um you can you start to focus on uh, how to manage these risk managements and also emotional managements, especially after you took a position. Uh, it's, it becomes more difficult. Yeah. 
Pradeep says, uh, what is a Tokyo box? A uh, Tokyo box is the session between the Tokyo Open 9 a.m. until the 5 p.m. in Tokyo session. And if you plot the resistance and support in Tokyo session, then that's a Tokyo box. So this is the beginning of the Tokyo session at um, 9 a.m. And this is the end of the Tokyo 5 p.m. And you have the resistance and support. And this area, this yellow area is called a Tokyo box. Simply it's an Asian box, but I particularly take the Tokyo session start and end. And I call it Tokyo box. Jan says, um, how many candles in row must Kijun Sen be flat for it to be a strong flag, a uh, flat range? Um, it can just be one. If you just see one candlestick Kijun Sen flat, then that's the range. The market might retrace backwards to Kijun Sen when you see that. Aditya says, um, Hi K, uh, why don't you use the forecast line break L as the trading edge in the mid time frame? Um, simply because I take the lower time frame 5 or 15 minute chart for uh, entry edges and confirmations. And forecast lines is basically to capture bigger picture of the market because it's part of the Ichimoku strategy. But when it comes to entry edges, I want it to be precise. And forecast lines are a bit too for for the daily chart or four chart, and it's uh, it's a uh, high, too high time frame, and I don't take these as one of the confirmations. But once I see the forecast line break out in higher time frames, then I will actively stick to the pair and looking for the entry edge for sure. All right, uh, let's see. Hello, C. Leo. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Long time no see too. Thank you for joining. Japa, good to see you. All right. Oh, thank you, Marison, for the reminder. So, if you like the live stream so far, please press the good button, and you're always welcome to join the Ichimoku community. And also, I do the GTS class. The next GTS is going to come in up in July and uh, the two seats are already filled and there are three seats available. So if you're interested, uh, please click on the below description and you can message me by email. This is only up to five members. And the next one is July, August and September. And in this, in this GTS class, I not only teach the way to capture trends and write on it, but also I talk about the risk management, lot sizing, stop loss, when exactly move the stop loss to break even, and how exactly to trail the profits and exit timings with the spreadsheet, um, uh, trade management, uh, trading journals. I also um, teach that in the GTS. But Ichimoku community is basically uh, the Ichimoku strategies only. And this is about the community to study Ichimoku on multiple markets. Let's see. Yeah, JJ says, uh, if you place a trade in 5 minute chart, do you mostly watch the 1 hour chart or 4 hour chart or daily chart? Um, I mostly watch, initially watch the 5 minute and once I set the break even line, then I watch either daily or 4. Yeah, um, let's see. Ale says, um, USTJPY 1 hour chart. Yeah, so let's check the USTJPY. This is another uh, JPY pair, but let me check the daily chart first. Okay, the prices has been retracing backwards. Looks like the market was supported by the Senko, uh, Senko Span A in the daily chart three days ago. 
and now it's retracing backwards. With that in mind, I watched the 4 hour chart. In 4 hour chart, uh, there is a Kumo breakout, Sanyaku Koten signal happens uh, 12, 12 hours ago, and the market might go up afterwards. It might be supported by the Senko Span A and goes up this way. After this Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, Chikou Span break and the Kumo breakout, it can go up afterwards. But the price is still between the forecast lines. So these two yellow lines are called forecast lines. And the price is still within the forecast lines. So to be safer, you want to wait for the breakout and start to look for buy chance afterwards. Yeah, right now in the daily chart, the Chikou Span is still touching the candles and the price below Kijun Sen. So this is flat ranging. It might go downwards still in a daily basis. All right. Um, could you please have a look at Nifty and Bank Nifty? Um, let me check that one uh, sometime uh, tomorrow or the day after. If you can remind me, that would be great. Because um, I will be ending the live stream anytime soon. So Rare says, um, NDZJPY is still holding it, enter because, yeah, there is no reason to exit yet. Yeah, you can just keep holding that NDZJPY because this is still moving up in the 4-hour chart basis. Tyler, you're welcome. You're welcome. Alexandra says, um, Hi K, what you say about Ichimoku with EMA 200? Um, I see a lot of strategies using EMA 200. Thanks for your time uh, teaching us. Uh, compliments for uh, Portugal. Oh, thank you for joining from Portugal. Um, yeah, 200 EMA is effective, but uh, you can also uh, check charts by Kumo. Um, you can just use either Kumo or 200 EMA is my opinion because they both show the long-term market direction and momentum. And yeah, I don't really use other indicators besides Ichimoku on these higher time frames. But I used to use MAs. I used to use moving averages. I used to use uh, three moving averages and take trades but not anymore because um, I prefer Ichimoku in these market conditions. So Rev says, um, is it good to exit on Sanku Gakuten in 5 minute chart or 1 hour chart? In 1 it's okay but in 5 it might be too early. Yeah, more 7, you're welcome. Let's see, Dalok says, um, I check for a trend at 4 hour time frame with Ichimoku and Bollinger Bands. I enter and close my trade in at 5 minute, 15 minute time frame using Stochastics. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you can use the multiple confirmations for an exit timing. And that's great. John says, um, is Ichimoku good with trading stocks? Yes, of course. Ichimoku was originally created to trade on stock market indexes. So, it should work on these markets as well. Hello, Paul. Good to see you here. And Ben, you're welcome. And Ali, you're welcome too. And JJ, you're welcome. And Jorg, you're welcome too. And Sorosh, you're welcome too. So looks like uh, I will be ending the live stream in about 5 minutes. So uh, yeah, so uh, like I mentioned uh, originally, uh, my intention on this YouTube live stream is to help you become a non-losing trader. So non-losing is very important concept because um, sometimes you want to focus on uh, how to win profits and how to become a 
profitable trader, but、um, you can't be profitable on the next day, of course.、Uh, It was for me too. I, ha I had the losing two years, and then after the third year,、um, it became break even, and then profitable. So,、uh, before becoming profitable, I think the step is to become a non losing trader. And that's why I say non losing is a very important concept. So, take very,、uh, very minimum risk or、uh, Set break even as soon as possible, and、uh, I mean, at the right timing, you set the break even and you take trades that way. So,、uh, with Ichimoku confirmations,、uh, hopefully, I can present more and more examples in the future lives, and also you can see you can enjoy the past archives. The past videos are all saved on my YouTube channel. So,、uh, you can also watch the past archive and enjoy my teaching in the past. So, yeah. Yeah, myself is a day to swing trade. Sometimes I hold a position,、uh, I close the position within the day, or sometimes I close the position for two weeks. In two weeks. So, in that sense, I am a day to swing trader. Recently, because I don't see any trends on the daily chart, Um, I am more of the intraday to day trade. So it depends on the market condition. If there is no trend in the daily chart or higher, then simply I follow one hour chart or four hour chart. And once it goes flat, then simply I look for an exit timing. So、uh, yeah, I will show you more and more examples like this. So hopefully, I will see you again. So, thank you for joining everyone once again today. Alexandra,、uh, Paprika, Daluk, Val,、uh, Benant, thank you for the messages. Niazi, and Faiz, Mohammad, and Asif. All right, thank you for joining for everyone. So, until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. All right, so bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.